palacio. So this will be my only review that I'm dropping this week because I've had the man flu lurgy. But there's one series I wanted to talk about this week that I just kind of had to get out. And that's this new Netflix original Korean series. So let's jump in and talk about it. In spring 1945, during Japanese rule over Korea, two young adults confront a strange creature born of greed and battle against it for survival. So the first thing you should know is Netflix, for some reason, continue to do this new trend where they split seasons up. So we get the seven episodes that have dropped today they're all over an hour long we're looking at like an hour and six minutes eight minutes so they're fairly lengthy episodes but they've given us seven and then you've got to wait two weeks until we see the final three episodes which is just bonkers to me that being said there's been a cornucopia of new content from netflix that is korean and most of it has been good and some has been outstanding it's been a while since i've watched one that i've gone yeah this is outstanding and right from the beginning of this review i'm going to say yes i think this is outstanding but i can't completely give it a a, a complete score because uh we haven't seen those last three episodes but i'm very happy to say the way this is portrayed the, the quality that you get in this is spectacular. So let's really get into the meat of it. Set in a time where this feels like injustice, there is this racism that is in there, that just seeped into the culture of both sides and people that are unjustly being treated negatively. I equate it to stuff that I experienced in South Africa with apartheid, the same when, when you have uh, black and white, you know, white people differentiating people with black skin in making them lesser than it feels like that in here it's very specific to what's going on in this time in this period and so we have costume design uh, location settings that all kind of put you in the zone of what time period you're meant to be in and the set the dress the set dressing and the costumes are all spectacular beautiful to look at for the most part we get a big chunk probably 60 70 percent of this entire series is in a hospital where there's experiments being done in the most horrific way and that is where you get kind of the creature feature moments. That is where you get the experiments where it reminds you of moments you've seen in films like Aliens. In uh, series where even um, Stranger Things, to reference another Netflix series, where there's like the, the crazy scientist, you know, shouts, it's alive, look what I've created. It's that sort of feeling. It's very dark and very brutal in places, this series. There's a, a number of characters that we get to know by sort of moments when our characters will do this thing when they kind of look somewhere and they're they're remembering something and then we get to see that moment and then that gives us a chunk of not understanding of where they're coming from but actual just emotional background to those characters i don't always like flashback images of building the character it seems like an easy way just to do that and it doesn't seem creative at all but in this it really works they don't do long big chunks they're very kind of short moments but what they do bring for those characters that we get it really heightens that emotionality to the characters i think the biggest plus in this series is that you're going to fall in love with the characters that's mostly because they give this series time to build in its story the first couple of episodes really kind of get you into the zone of where we're at when we're at who the players are and what the story is we have our sort of hero non-hero we don't really know much about him the guy that runs the pawn shop and it's very different to a sort of pawn shop that we have nowadays although it is still trading for money and keeping your things and hopefully you can buy it back in the uk we have well used to have a thing called cash converters that was a very kind of chain of pawn shops here this this setting is much more lavish and it's personal really personal things to people that are struggling to survive and he's giving them over cash and then we have this guy that's known to be able to give you cash and find anybody he's the sort of go-to guy for information that everybody knows and he knows everyone around the city he's able to help everyone he gets asked to help with a couple of sleuths that are looking for a particular person and basically all roads lead to the hospital and the creature creation and that's where the story really starts hyping up those moments that you want to see the reason why it has this title i'm not even going to try and pronounce it because i've tried multiple times and i think i'll just estimate the name Needless to say, when we get to the creature creations, it reminds you of things like The Thing. Um, and then 
mishmash i know i've mentioned already but if you remember the kind of the the stringy flesh creatures from stranger things you put those two together and that's kind of what you get but here they play the game like aliens does is less than more so you'll see the creature in moments you'll see it flash by in smoke and um, nitrogen gas that kind of thing where they show less is more because they're keeping it for the like the latter few episodes the the monster mayhem and trust me when you get those action sequences yeah it's brutal in amongst people trying to escape there's a nice big storyline of an escape of a rescue that is a sort of heist escape storyline that works really well whilst trying to survive the creature whilst trying to survive the army and the government that are doing um, nasty experiments to people here in amongst the injustice of it all in amongst the sort of slavery um, moments of it all and just broken relationships of people just trying to survive in this world. So you have a lot of layers in this and they showcase it very well. Like I said, because of the length of each episode, they're able to give us the meat. Some people might think this is a bit of a slow burn. I think it's slow in places, but it's necessary to build the world with the characters that we need to understand and have feelings for. When it comes to performances, I think you're going to be amazed at some moments at how emotional they get because we understand what they've gone through. You feel for them when there's good stuff happening to them and really bad stuff like how much more can one person go through that sort of thing we get torture that's really nasty in this uh, the, the bad guys are not just bad guys for the sake of being bad guys but they believe what they're doing is right to protect uh, their way of life or at least they've been conditioned to believe that but they showcase how evil men can be and women but mostly men in this and when we get to that horror part of it with the creature and men combined you will be i don't know blown away but you will like like wow they're spared no expense uh, in the cg which looks great but also in the practical effects mixed in with the gore that they have in this as far as i can remember there was no actual sex there might be some brief moodity some minor language but a lot of violence and horror and adult themes as in the intensity of what these people are going through so i wouldn't watch it with a young group but it is certainly a great grand adventure it is very depressing at times and very dark at times i don't know that it's a christmas series but it depends on what you like watching during this holiday period I think it's going to be a five Nicolas Cages out of five for me if they manage to stick the landing. It is that good. It's very well acted. It's very well put together. Even though the pacing took me a while to get into and figure out who these people were between the performances that I just kind of fell in love with the characters between the set dressings, the costume design and the way they kind of carried you through the tone of the music and the atmosphere created i was just absolutely enthralled with the world that was this enthralled but not wanting to live their life at all because it's really nasty i do have my favorite characters that i'm rooting for but unfortunately that the way this series goes you're not all your characters that you're rooting for will survive because it's very real in places so let's look forward to those last three episodes let me know what you think when you've seen the seven i thought this was excellent i can see some people having issue with this if this is pointing some fingers at things that you don't want mentioned or about history or you think is inaccurate this is a, a fictional story about a look out of way because it's about a, a massive monster creature but they take in things that have happened in history i don't think you need to take it too seriously that way just enjoy the drama that's on screen and then you'll enjoy what they're kind of showcasing here let me know your thoughts and feelings about this thanks so much for watching and however you celebrate the holidays live long tuesday